Welcome to this tutorial for Pockets of Joy Deirdre. This square is part of a series of standalone patterns designed to celebrate the many pockets of joy we experienced at the Crochet Guild of Australia's National Crochet Conference in Sydney. When I told my sister about the conference and all the pockets of joy I'd experienced, she suggested doing a series of patterns around this idea. So I told some of the other designers about this and they immediately jumped on board to create their own little pockets of joy, each in their own style. I'll pop a link to their patterns in the description below so you can find them. For this tutorial, this pocket of joy square, I am using Scheipius Organicon, which is left over from when I did the Myers Meadow Crochet Along, and I'm using a 3.25 millimeter hook. The square, the finished square is 17 centimeters, and let's see how much yarn it used. It used it used about 22 grams of Organicon for one square, so you would be able to get two of those out of a ball. So I've done one with different coloured leaves. These are Tunisian crochet, well, a mix between crochet and Tunisian crochet, and then one with the same colour leaves as the background. I've also made one in Schepje Scrumptious. And that's double knit yarn, using the same colours as I did for my Daisy's Bokeh square. Daisy's bouquet and a four millimeter hook. This square measures 20 centimeters. The squares have a final round stitch yarn of 40 stitches. It will be compatible with any square with a simil similar or same final round stitch count, provided of course that you use the same hook and yarn when you're making your squares. Not the same as me, the same as yourself. Okay, let's get started. For round one, we're going to start with double magic ring. And into that ring we're going to chain three, which will count as our first double crochet. Then we're going to double crochet and chain one. We're going to make three double crochets in a chain one three times. Two. unwind that. We're going to make one more double crochet and that will be because when we started we only did two in a chain one so now we're going to do one more double crochet and then I'm going to close my ring. You can start with a single a magic ring, just a normal magic ring if you prefer. Okay, so we're going to join to the top of the beginning chain three and I find it easier to locate the top of my first stitch which is there, there and then I'm going to go into the chain before that with the slip stitch. For round two we're going to chain two and make a 2 DC bobble in the same stitch as the slip stitch join and to do that we're going to yarn over insert our hook into that same stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and then pull through all three loops on your hook and that will count as our first 3 DC bobble and now we are going to chain two and then we're going to front post treble around the same stitch, which will be that beginning chain three. We're going to chain two again and make a 3DC bobble in the next stitch. Just basically a double crochet three together in the same stitch. And then pull through all four. So that will be our little repeat on each of the four sides. Now we're going to chain three. We're going to skip the next chain one space and the next double crochet. 
and then we're going to make a three dou double crochet bobble in the next stitch. So skip the chain one space and the next stitch and then make a three DC bobble in the next stitch. Chain two and make a front post treble around the same stitch. Chain two and make another three DC bobble in the next stitch. So that's our second repeat made. Chain three, skip the next chain one space and the first double crochet and make a three DC bobble in the next double crochet. Chain two, front post treble around that same stitch. Chain two, make a three DC bobble in the next stitch. Chain three. Skip the next chain one space there and the next double crochet and make a three double crochet bobble in the next stitch. Chain two, front post treble around that same double crochet. Chain two, make a three DC bobble in the next stitch. We're going to chain three and we're going to join to the top of the first 3DC bobble with a slip stitch. So that's round two made. For round three, we're going to slip stitch into the next chain two space. We're going to chain one, that doesn't count as a stitch, and we're going to make two single crochets in the same space. We're going to make a front post half double crochet around the next front post treble. Make two single crochets in the next chain two space. Front post half double crochet around the next bobble. Make three single crochets in the next chain three space. And front post half double crochet around the next bobble. And that is our repeat. So we're going to do that three more times. Two single crochets in the next chain two space. Front post half double crochet around the next front post treble. Two single crochets in the next chain two space. Front post half double crochet around the next bobble. Three single crochets in the next chain three space. My yarn is a bit snaggy because the dog has licked it. So there's a wet patch. I'm just going to do that again. That front post half double. So three single crochets in the next chain three space. And snag on the same spot. Front post half double crochet around the next bobble. Two single crochets in the next chain two space. Front post half double crochet around the front post treble. Two single crochets in the next chain two space. Front post half double crochet around the next bobble. Three single crochets in the next chain three space. So this will bring us to the last repeat. I'm going to do, and I'm aware that it's now started raining, so we're going <laughs> to finish this round and then I'll resume the video when it's not so noisy. Oh, and it's stopped again. So 
So one, two, three single crochets in that last chain three space and then a front post, half double crochet around the last three DC bobble. I'm going to join to the first single crochet with a slip stitch. For round four, we're going to chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch throughout. I'm going to single crochet in the first three stitches, and that last single crochet should fall in the top of the front post half double crochet. I'm going to front post half double crochet around that same front post stitch. Skip the first stitch after and single crochet in the next nine. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and that last stitch should fall in the front post half double. Front post half double around that same stitch. Skip the first stitch after the front post stitch and single crochet in the next nine stitches. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Front post half double crochet around that same front post stitch. Skip the next stitch after the front post stitch and single crochet in the next nine stitches. Front post half double crochet around that last front post half double crochet. Skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six because we've already made the first three when we started the repeat. We're going to join to the top of the first single crochet with a slip stitch. And that is round four made. For round five, we're going to chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Then we're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. We're going to make two double crochet in the next stitch and double crochet in the next four stitches seven times. So two double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next four stitches. Two double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next four stitches. Two double crochet in the next stitch and you'll see that every second increase will fall in a front post line. Double crochet in the next four stitches. Two double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next four stitches. Two double crochet in the next stitch. So this is again the second increase and it falls in that front post line. Double crochet in the next four stitches. I've had to try and film this so many times. It rains or it's blurry. Two double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next four stitches. Anyway, sometimes 
something just works so effortlessly and other times you keep doing it and keep doing it and something just keeps going wrong. Two double crochet in the next stitch. So we're hoping this time works. Double crochet in the next four stitches. And there should now be two stitches left. So we're going to make two double crochet in the next stitch. And double crochet in the last stitch. And we're going to mark this stitch with a stitch marker for later on. We're going to join to the top of the beginning chain three with a slip stitch. And you can fasten off here, well, we're going to fasten off anyway, because we're going to do the flowers. But what I meant to say was actually you can change colors. When we get to the leaves, you can change colors. I'm still undecided whether I'll do the leaves in the same green or in a lighter green. Right. So now that we've done that, we're going to create little flowers and we're going to do those in the increases that fall over this front post line. So... Over there, over there, over there, and over there. Before we continue with round six, we're going to make teeny tiny flowers in four of the increases from round five, like I said before, the ones that fall over this long front post stemmy thing. We're going to work around the increase as if it's a ring. You can use any colors you fancy. You need to start with a slip knot already on your hook. And working into the second stitch of that increase, we're going to make a slip knot around the post of that stitch. A, a slip stitch, not a slip knot. Chain two, double crochet around that same stitch. Chain two, slip stitch around that same stitch. So that's our first petal. Chain two, Double crochet around that same stitch, chain two, slip stitch around that same stitch. It's not a lot of space to work into, so it'll be a bit fiddly. Now we're going to turn our work by 180 so that we can work into the other stitch of the increase. So we're going to make a slip stitch around that stitch, chain two, double crochet around that same stitch. Chain two, slip stitch around that same stitch. Chain two, double crochet around that same stitch. Chain two, slip stitch around that same stitch. I'm going to make our last petal and to do that we are going to slip stitch into the second stitch of the increase there. Chain two, make a double crochet in that same stitch. Chain two and make a slip stitch in that same stitch. So that's our flower made. I'm going to fasten off and I'm going to show you how I work away my ends. And you'll need to do this three more times so that you end up with four flowers. I'm going to take this end through the top of that stitch to the back. And then I'm going to work both ends away together. I find it easiest to just do it into the stitches of the flower. Look at that 
cute little thing. I'm going to show you how to do that one more time. So we're going to work into the increase at the top of the next stem and working around the second stitch of the increase with a slip knot already on your hook slip stitch around that stitch. Chain two, double crochet, chain two, slip stitch around that same stitch. Chain two, double crochet, chain two, slip stitch around that same stitch. Turn your work so that you can work into the other stitch of the increase and make a slip stitch and I have to pull this quite tight otherwise it becomes unneat, untidy. Chain two, double crochet around that same stitch, chain two, slip stitch around that same stitch, chain two, double crochet, chain two, slip stitch around the same stitch. Working into the second stitch of the increase at the top there, make a slip stitch, chain two, double crochet in that same stitch, chain two, slip stitch in that same stitch, and cut your work, your yarn, and then work away those ends. So once I've completed all four of these, I will meet you back here for round six. In round six, we're going to be making three dimensional leaves. They're a mix of crochet and Tunisian crochet. Uh, they're quite complicated to explain in words, but super simple to show on the video. Well, not super simple, simple. So we're going to join our yarn by making a standing double crochet in this marked stitch. I'm just going to remove my marker and it will be the last double crochet of the round. And that's my chain three. So we're going to make a standing double crochet. And then we're going to skip the next two stitches and we're going to make a two DC bobble in the next stitch. So skip the next two stitches and make a two DC bobble in the next stitch. It's basically a double crochet two together in the same stitch. So once we've done that, we're going to make our leaf around the two legs of this DC two together bob DC two DC bobble. And this is how we're going to make the leaf. It's going to start now. That's how you'll make it every time you'll, the pattern tells you to make a leaf. So we're going to chain two. And then we're going to insert our hook from back to front to back to front around the post. The first post of that DC two together. Well, two DC bobble. And we're going to make a partial DC, which means that we yarn over and pull through once so that we still have two loops on our hook. We're going to make six of those. So two, three, four, five, they'll be a bit tight, six. So if we were going to make a, D, a DC six together, we would yarn over and pull through all six of those, but we're not going to. We're going to do Tunisia now, so we're going to yarn over and pull through one. And then we're going to yarn over, pull through two, five times. Two, that's number two, three, four, and five times. Once we've done that, we want our working yarn to be behind our hook. So we're going to swing it from left to right in front of our work, from right to left if you're left-handed, and we're just going to swing it under the handle so that it's the back of our work. And then you'll see it makes a little loop around the bottoms of those two stitches and we're just going to pull that tight so it doesn't become untidy. Now we're going to push this part of the leaf down and we're going to work into the second leg and we're going to make six partial double crochets again. We're going to yarn over and pull through one, and then yarn over, pull through two, five times. One, two, three, four, five. So we have three loops on our hook. A little bit tricky to see because these two are twisted. Going to yarn over and pull through all three. 
we're going to chain two. Once we've made this chain two, we're going to turn our work so that the back is facing us and we're going to make a slip stitch into the first chain two of the leaf. It'll be tricky to see, um, but if you see that little line, that's where we pulled our yarn around and it'll be between that first stitch and that little loop. So just in there, we're going to make a slip stitch and that's our leaf completed. So we're going to turn around again and chain four. Then we're going to make a front post double crochet around the two TDC that contain this, the flower. And uh, you can't really see them because they've got flower in them. But we'll yarn over, insert our hook from front to back. And then from back to front. So it looks like that. And then we're going to make a double crochet. We're going to chain four again. We're going to skip the first stitch, which will be hidden anyway, and we're going to make a two DC bobble in the next stitch. And if you want to check that you've got the placement right, it should there should be two DC left before the increase. One, two, and then there's the increase. So we're going to make another leaf. And again, we're starting with a chain two. And then we're making four, six partial trebles, six partial doubles around the first leg of the two DC bobble. Two, three, four. Gonna yarn over and pull through one loop, then yarn over and pull through two loops five times. One, two, three, four, five, two loops on your hook, swing your yarn in front of your work and behind your hook. Fold this flat and make six partial double crochets in the second leg of the 2DC bobble. Hi buds. Yarn over pull through one. Yarn over pull through two five times. One, two, three. Five. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all three stitches, chain two, turn our work so that we can see the back and make a slip stitch in that first chain two space. You have to dig around a bit and turn our leaf back. But buds. We're going to skip the next two stitches and make a double crochet in the next stitch, which should be the first DC of the increase. So skip the next two and then double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to chain two, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, we're going to skip the next two stitches, make a two DC bobble in the next stitch. Gonna make another leaf, chain two, six partial DCs around the sleeve. Yarn over pull through one, yarn over pull through two five times, one. Two, three, four, five. Swing our yarn in front of our work onto the back. Fold this leaf down and we're going to make six more partial double crochets in the second leg of the 2DC bobble. OK, 
Okay, yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two, five times. One, two, three. No, 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 no. Four. Five times, yarn over and pull through all three. Chain two. And make a slip stitch in the first chain two of the leaf. Turn our work back. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Make a double crochet, front post double crochet around the two DC that contain the flower. One, two, three, four. Oh, make it. What are we going to do now? Skip the first hidden stitch and then make a two, that one, and then make a two DC bubble in the next stitch. And we're going to make another leaf. Chain two. Six partial doubles in the first leg of the 2DC bubble. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two, five times. Swing your yarn around your work and to the back. I'm going to make six partial doubles in the second leg of the 2DC bobble. Yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two, five times. Yarn over and pull through all three. Chain two, turn your work, make a slip stitch in that first chain two of the leaf. Turn your work back. We're going to skip the next two stitches. One two and make a DC in the next stitch which should be the first stitch of the increase from the previous round. Chain two, skip the next stitch and make a DC in the next stitch. So this is the repeat, the repeat starts after this double crochet with a skip the next two and make a two DC bobble in the next stitch and you're going to repeat that all the way until you get back here again we're going to do that all the way around now it looks a bit modelly now but once you flatten them all look at them so pretty okay i'll see you back at the end of the round right so i've made all my leaf pairs um, finished my last repeat with a double crochet and a chain two and I'm just about to join to the first double crochet with a slip stitch but before I do that I suggest just marking the skipped stitch between this last DC you made and the first DC of the round the stitch marker because that's where we will start our next round for round seven we're going to start with a slip knot already on our hook and we are going to start in that mark stitch from round five, working in front of this chain two space from round six. I'm just gonna remove my marker. So the repeat starts immediately with five trebles into that marked stitch, the skipped marked stitch, working in front of the chain two space. Number two, number three, number four, 
and five. Now we're going to chain one and these chain ones are sneaky so remember to do them. Chain one and then we're going to work into these two chain four spaces behind the leaves. So we're going to make six single crochet in the first chain four space. Two, three, four, five and you'll have to squeeze them up a bit to get them to fit in and six six single crochets in the next chain four space one two three four five and six going to chain one again and then we are going to work in between the leaf and the next the dc after the leaf and we're going to make a half double crochet in the space between those two so that's the first repeat done I'm going to show you the second repeat, which is the same, but I'm just going to show it to you again and then I'll skip to the end. So into this skipped stitch from round five and working in front of this chain two space, we are going to make six, five trebles, sorry, five trebles. One, two, three. four and five chain one don't forget that chain one working into the chain four space behind the first leaf we're going to make six single crochets one two three four five and six working into the second chain four space six single crochets one two, three, four, five, and six. Chain one, working between the leaf and the next double crochet, the one after the leaf, we're gonna make a half double crochet in that space. And that's the second repeat done. I'm gonna do that two more times and I'll meet you back at the end. Now I've done all the repeats for round seven. I'm going to join to the top of the first treble with a slip stitch. And then we're going to start round eight. For round eight, we're going to chain one. That doesn't count as a stitch. Then we're going to single crochet in the next five trebles. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Single crochet in the next chain one space. Single crochet in the next 12 single crochets. So that first one will be a little bit hidden by that chain, the stitch we just made into the chain one space. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six, working into the stitches made into the first chain four space. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That'll bring us to the next chain one space. Into that chain one space, we're gonna make a single crochet. And then we're going to single crochet in the next half double crochet and that will be a bit tricky to get into because the first half double crochet after the chain one space is always tricky to get into so there's the half double and we're just going to make a stitch oh it's tricky to get into in there that's the first repeat i'm going to show you how to do that one more time repeat starts here with single crochet in the next Five trebles, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the next chain one space, single crochet in the next 12 stitches, the first of which is slightly hidden, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Single crochet in the next chain one space. Single crochet in the next half double there, which will be tricky to get into. I'm going to do that two more times and then I'll meet you at the end. I've repeated that four times in total. This brings me back to the start of the round and I'm going to join to the first top of the first single crochet with a slip stitch. And that will be the first single crochet made into that first treble. For round nine, we're going to start with a chain three. And that will count as our first double crochet. Double crochet in the next three stitches. One. Two. And three. And on this first repeat, we are going to mark that second of the three double crochets with a stitch marker because we will start in that stitch for the next round. Two double crochet in the next stitch, which should be the last single crochet before the single made into the chain one space. And it is, so this is a single in the chain one space and that is the last single before that one, so in the last treble. We're gonna make two double crochet. Now the repeat starts and the repeat is double crochet in the next four stitches, make two double crochet in the next stitch and we will do that 15 times. So double crochet in the next four stitches, one, two, three, four, two double crochet in the next stitch. So that's the first one of 15 done. I'm going to show you again. Double crochet in the next four stitches. That's four. Make two double crochet in the next stitch. And that is the second one of 15 done. So I'm going to continue all the way around until I've done all 15. That's my 14th repeat done. So I'm going to do 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2 double crochets in the last stitch. You will join to the top of the beginning chain 3 with a slip stitch, which is there. Alternatively, you can use the invisible join, which is what I'm going to do. And then we're going to fasten off and work away our ends because we'll be changing colours for the next round. We are on round 10 now. Starting with a standing stitch in the marked stitch from the previous round, we're going to make a back post treble around that marked stitch. Gonna make another back post treble around that same marked stitch. A bit tricky to do two back posts in the same stitch. Find it helps to turn my work towards me. Chain two and make two back post treble in the next stitch. Thirdly. And that is our first corner made. I'm just going to remove this stitch marker. So that's our first corner made. And you'll notice that these second two back post trebles fall in a double crochet directly above the third treble of this five treble group. So one, two, three. And it's directly above there. You can check in each of the corners that it falls there. 
from here we're going to start the repeat and it is going to be back post treble in the next stitch back post extended double crochet in the next two stitches so you're yarning over once inserting around the post yarn over pull up a loop then you'll yarn over and pull through one so a little chain yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two this is slightly shorter than a treble so it just makes it a bit neater I'm going to do one more of those so yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two back post double in the next stitch back post half double in the next four stitches back post single in the next six stitches one two three, four, five, and six. Back post half double in the next four stitches. Back post double in the next stitch. Back post extended double in the next two stitches. <coughs> Apologies. <coughs> oh, sorry. Back post extended double in the next two stitches. post treble in the next stitch before I do my corner I'm just going to double check so this will be the first two back post treble of the corner that will be the next two back post treble of the corner and that should fall in the DC directly above that third treble of those five trebles so that's correct so I'll make two back post trebles around the next stitch Chain two. These are easier to do if you're not filming them and sitting at an odd angle away from your work. Right, so that is your next corner and that is also the end of the repeat. In the timeline I'll put a link um, to where you need to skip back to if you want to see that repeat again. And then when you've done this four times, I'll meet you back at the end. So you're going to repeat this entire repeat three more times. But when you get to the very end, you're going to skip that last corner because you've already made that before we started the repeats. I've completed all the repeats, omitting that last corner because we've already made that before we started the repeats. I'm going to join to the top of the first treble with a slip stitch. And then we are on to round 11. For round 11, we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and into the next chain two corner space. Chain four. That will count as a first treble. Make two more trebles in that same chain two space. So that's three trebles on that side. Chain two. And then three more trebles into that corner space. It'll be a bit of a squeeze. Got a little ball of yarn. Go over there. Okay. 
So that is our first corner made. Three treble, chain two and three treble. We're going to skip the first hidden stitch, which is well and truly hidden, and make an extended double crochet in the next two stitches. Double crochet in the next two stitches. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. Single crochet in the next 13 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. Double crochet in the next two stitches. Extend a double crochet in the next two stitches. Into the corner space, three treble. Chain two, three more treble, and that's our second corner made. We're going to repeat this all the way from the skip the first stitch, extend a double crochet in the next stitch. From there we're going to repeat to the corner and we're going to do that three more times omitting that last corner on the last repeat because we've already made that before we started the repeat. So I've come to the end of the round. Remember that you will omit that last corner because you've already made it before you started the repeats. To end the round you're going to slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain four with a slip stitch. Moving on to round 12, we're going to slip stitch in the next two stitches. And in the chain two corner space. Chain three, this will count as a double crochet. Make a double crochet in that same chain two corner space. Chain two, two double crochets in that same chain two corner space. This is where the repeat will start and we are going to do that four times in total. So skip the first hidden stitch, which is not that hidden, but pretend it's hidden, and double crochet in the next 30 stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, oh, the dog's licked my yarn again. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Twenty one. Oh, white spot. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 
27, 28, 29, and 30. This will bring us to the next chain two corner space and into that space we're going to do two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. And that ends the repeat. You're going to need to do that three more times, omitting the last corner on the last repeat because you'll have already done that before we started the repeats. I'm at the end of the round and I'm ready to join. So you can either join to the top of the beginning chain three with a slip stitch or you can join with the invisible join because we are fastening off at the end of this round and changing colors. To start round 13, we're going to join our yarn by making a standing double crochet in any corner around. Into that same space, we're going to make double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. That is your first corner made. So this is where the repeat starts. We're going to back post double crochet in the next 34 stitches. It's going to take me a while. Sorry for the background noises. I'm washing clothes for rugby tonight. Two, three, four. Seven, eight. If you're ever concerned that you've skipped the back post, it's easy enough to see. You just turn your work and make sure that each of your stitches has a little dotted line. So I've not skipped one. So that's eight. Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. It's a pity you can't smell things as well as hear things because I've got some delicious veggies in balsamic roasting in the oven and they smell great. 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. One. Three and four. So 34 back post double crochets. That brings us to the next corner. Into that corner, we're going to do two double crochets. Chain two and two double crochets. Oh. Oh. Washing machine sounds like it's dying, but it's not. So that is the end of the repeat. We're going to do that three more times, starting from here, where you do back post double crochet in the next 34 stitches into the corner space, two DC, chain two, two DC. And we're going to do that three more times, omitting this last corner on the last repeat. 
I'm at the end of the round and to finish round 13 we are going to join to the first DC with a slip stitch. For round 14 we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and into the chain two corner space. Chain four and this will count as our first half double crochet and chain two space. Half double crochet in that same chain two corner space. So that's our first corner made. It's essentially half double crochet, chain two and half double crochet. So this is where the repeat starts. Half double crochet in the next 38 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. This will bring us to the next chain two corner space. Into that chain two corner space, we are going to make our half double crochet, chain two, and a half double crochet. Oh, if we can manage, if I can manage. And this brings us to the end of the repeat. And we're going to need to do that three more times, omitting the last corner on the last repeat because we already made that when we started the round. I'm at the end of round 14. I've made those last 38 half double crochets back at the starting corner. And to finish, I'm going to join to the second chain of the beginning chain four with a slip stitch. So I'm just going to count back from this first stitch. So chain four, three, and that's the second chain. So then I will fasten off and work away my ends. And that is my little pockets of joy square all done. Well, it's not blocked. I need to block it first and it'll be perfect. I'll show you a photo of that. Thank you very much for joining me for this video tutorial. I hope you enjoy the pattern. Bye.